Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we're going to be checking out another one of the Doth single meal rations and I've really enjoyed these. I've done two of the red line single meal rations. I believe it was the salmon stew and the salmon paella or paella. <laughs> and this one is what's called the, the, the red line series. It's a thousand calories. And there's also a black line series which is about 1500 calories. Anyway, today's ration is going to be the pasta with pomodoro sauce. And a pomodoro sauce, it's basically a tomato sauce. It's usually on the thick side instead of thin, and it's also smooth instead of chunky. And one thing I noticed about looking at the sauce, the fourth ingredient is carrot. And if I remember, that's maybe not a normal item in tomato sauce. Maybe we're just uh, putting it in there for a little bit of extra veggies. But you never know, I may open it up and it might be chunky and thin. But anyway, let's uh, get this opened up. Well, let me get a close up if you want to check out the nutritional information and the uh, ingredients. Everything in there. Anyway, let's get this opened up. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's pretty interesting the last two weeks. See, the, uh, these bags are tough. <laughs> last week, you know, done a uh, Norwegian Arctic field ration. It looks like a uh, it's kind of popular that weekend because a lot of other people done it. And also there's been a, quite a few of the Chinese PLA military rations uh, reviews. And I remember doing them a while back and I really enjoyed them. Especially the newer ones. But anyway, let's uh, get rolling here. Got our flameless ration heater. These work really nice. We have our apricots and syrup. Got, their, or got our pasta with pomodoro sauce, and uh, this is unfortunately kind of sticky. Hmm. Hope nothing broke in there. Got our isotonic drink, this pineapple. It makes one liter, it makes a lot. Got our berries and jam, which is technically not jam, but it's very good. At least that don't seem to be broken. Got usually, yep, got two instant coffees, we have our, they're just called big crackers, they're a little bit of a, like a sweet wheat cracker, and last but not least, we have our little accessory pack, that's everything in the bag, that's where none seems broken, but man, these are, Stick. I mean, you can even see all the stuff just, just stuck to the pouch. Weird. Now let's get this opened up. And we have our, not really a spork, but we got a spoon and a fork. Got our couple of napkins here. Got a small pack of salt, two salts, and six packs of sugar. That's right, I thought it came with pepper, but I guess not. Is it trapped in the, nope, no pepper. That's okay. But yeah, that is everything. Nice little single meal ration. I've enjoyed them in the past. I'm sure I'll enjoy this one. But anyway, I'm gonna get my tray, get everything ready. Okay, here's everything ready to go. First up, let's uh, get our main ready and our flameless ration heater. And I don't know why, I mean, I wiped down that pouch in hot water and it's, it's still sticky. I don't know what the deal is. Quality control on that one was uh, a little bit poor. But let's get this our ration heater. And these ration heaters are really, really good. Sometimes they take a little bit to get going, but when they do, man, they, they go pretty damn well. Get some water. Make sure that you get a little more water. 
a normal heater. Maybe even a little bit more than that. There we go. All right. I'm just going to fold this over. Put a clip on there. And I can already hear it sizzling. And this one's not taking long at all to get going. Yeah, there she goes. Maybe she won't move it up a little, won't fog up the camera so bad. Yeah, it probably only took about 30, you know, 30 seconds. I'm going to set this off to the side. And I'm going to take our berries and jam, which it's really not jam. It's basically berries. Let's see what, if I can remember what kind of berries are in there. It's strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, and blueberries. But it's got some berries in there, not many, and basically a syrup. But I'm going to set this on a flameless ration heater and warm it up too. And while our tray is out of the way, get our pineapple drink. Like I said, it makes one liter, which is a little over four cups. But I'm not going to make that much. It's a tear notch. Sometimes, a lot of times, it don't. There we go. You can smell the pineapple. And we'll get our coffee ready. Which is basically, it's like a powder. It's not granular. Smells nice. I've always enjoyed it. I'm going to put in a pack of sugar to go with it. Yeah, I'm going to get some hot water for our coffee and get our drink mixed up. And when I come back, everything will be ready. Okay, drink's ready. Main is still heating up. Let's uh, get our apricots and syrup out on our tray. Use a smaller compartment for this. Got less syrup in there. Try not to splash everything everywhere. There we go. Barely holds everything. And get our big cookies out. Which I've had these before. Like I said, these are, they're different. I'll just say that. You almost think they're a cookie. But, you know, it says, like, Big Cracker. Like I said, they, they taste slightly, you know, like wheat. Like a wheat cookie. They're a little bit sweet. And on their own, they're not bad. Like I said, tastes a little bit wheaty, a little bit sweet. They're a little bit dry, too. On their own, they're not bad. It's going to make them better later and we're going to check out our apricots like I said just barely fits in that little compartment there I've always enjoyed apricots I don't know if anybody else does but I do and yeah these are really nice a little bit sweet has a real natural sweetness to it Syrup is nice and thick. Very enjoyable. If I remember right, 
the uh, other rations get prunes. Now we'll check out our pineapple drink. And that's not too bad. Like I said, it calls for a liter of water, which is a little bit, <laughs> which is a little over four cups. I only use three cups of water, so it's a little bit stronger. Seems like three cups works out a lot better. A little bit tart, you know. It, it is an artificial pineapple flavor. It's not very sweet, but it's still pretty good. Okay, our main is still very hot, but I'm gonna break up our cookie here, which if people have seen some of my previous reviews, know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do the other one too. There we go. But like I said, our main is pretty darn hot right now. All right, so is our berries jam. It is nice and toasty. What I've always enjoyed doing, <laughs> this will open up properly. Which it doesn't want to seem to. All right, had to get the knife on that one. Yeah, we are gonna dump our berries jam all over our cookies. Hopefully they'll soak up a lot of that juice. Not too many berries in there. There are some, like I said, just not many. There we go. Give that a little bit of a mix. But yeah, I have always enjoyed this. Let the cookies soak up a bunch of that berry juice. I've never heated it up before. See how much better it does. Okay. And we got our main, which oddly enough, the pouch is still a little bit sticky. See what this looks like. Like I said, Pomodoro sauce, it's supposed to be thick and smooth, but you can see it looks like it's got chunks of either tomatoes or carrots. Not what it's supposed to be. It smells great though. You know, let me see, yeah. Those look like uh, little chunks of carrots. Yep, they are. A little bit mushy. But let's see what this tastes like. You know, this does have really good flavor. It has a nice tomato carrot flavor to it because as you can see, there's a lot of carrots in there. But the carrots... Let's see, well, I probably had this heating up for about 10 minutes, but the carrots are mushy, the pasta is mushy, but like I said, it does have really good flavor. You can taste a little bit of herbs or oregano in there, but yeah, it tastes like 50% carrot, 50% tomato. I wish it had a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there. But it's still pretty good. Check out our coffee. And yeah, that coffee, I'm glad I put one pack in there because you really can't tell I put any sugar in there at all. It's still a little bit bitter, very strong. Maybe next time I'll remember to put two packs of sugar in there. It's still not too bad though. But anyway, let's check out our cookies with the berries and jam. <laughs> this looks just, I've had this before. I've just not had it heated up before. It is very good. Yeah, with the cookies in there, they still have a good crunch to them. With the berries in there, it almost tastes like a, 
a berry crumble or a cobbler. Yeah, this is just very nice. You ever do these doff rations? Always dump your berries and jam in with the cookies. But anyway, that's going to do it for this review of this doff single meal ration. Everything is great. It really is. The only downside, the pasta pomodoro sauce. The pasta is a little bit mushy. The carrots are a little bit mushy. But the flavor is really good. I know I'm going to finish everything here. And I'm also glad I cut down the water to three cups on the pineapple drink. It's a little bit stronger now. Usually with one liter of water, it's a little bit weak. But other than that, I'm definitely going to finish everything. But I really hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.